Awesome. Well, thank you all for <laughs> having me, your chapter chair, as your presenter also. It's always fun to put on the multiple hats. And um, today we get to do a little hands-on experiment. So I don't know if you um, are already prepared, but um, if not, uh, what you'll need is a piece of paper, some permanent markers, some washable markers. You can also use like a pencil for your permanent marker side of things. Um, and then you need the washable markers. Uh, and then like some sort of spray bottle and container, or you can just use water from your sink and the sink as your container. So um, that will set you up for success for this experiment. Um, of course, I love surf rider side of things and also work with Harbor Wild Watch as their science specialist. And uh, the Harbor Wild Watch mission is to inspire stewardship of the Puget Sound and Greater Salish Sea by providing equitable learning opportunities to the people of um, our community and beyond. And um, I know with coronavirus, things have been very much online. And so that's really helped us reach kind of the beyond part of our mission. And so we've been doing all sorts of virtual beach walks and virtual STEM lessons. And so tonight we're kind of taking the watershed lesson and uh, we get to learn a little bit more about uh, this place because everybody lives on a watershed, uh, wherever in the world you are. And I'm gonna share a watershed map and you can figure out, I'm assuming we're all in the Tacoma E watershed area. Um, let me know if that's coming up for you. <laughs> oh, it's not going. Uh oh. The computer's going really slow. Okay, so while you live in a watershed, you might be in. Oh, there it's going. Oh. It's thinking. <laughs> Green sharing. Da, 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 da. Never gotten the pinwheel of death on someone else's computer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, Behold, technology. Concerning. Just thinking about it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, anyways, um, watersheds are areas of land where the water that falls, so any type of precipitation, whether that's rain, snow, sleet, um, that water goes somewhere and water travels and as it travels, it picks up pollution. And so for our experiment today, we're gonna draw our own little watershed uh, your own community, the place that you live and do things. And we're going to add some of the everyday pollution that occurs and then see what happens when it rains. So to do that, um, I don't want to share my screen anymore because uh, that's not really working. Hmm. Uh, I think Zoom just quit on me. And I'm echoing. Okay, stop sharing. I can't tell if that's working. Did that oh. work? Oh, there it yeah. is. Okay, Got quick, it. look at it before it goes away. There's yeah. the Piaf watershed, Nisqually, Chambers Clover, and then the Kupanitsukig Harbor Islands watershed. Um, so figure out which one you're on. <laughs> <laughs> in that short little moment. Um, and I'm going to swap my screen around. So we can do some drawing together. Okay. So, snuggle in here. Okay, so in your watershed, you probably have your house. So for those of you following along with us today, um, go ahead and draw a home. You have a nice, maybe we don't have the chimney on yet. It's too hot. We have our house, our door, our windows. Maybe you're outside. I have a nice ponytail. Um, in my dream home, I'd have a dog that I'm walking. So you can draw yourself walking the dog. I'm so excited. I guess I have to hold the leash. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> these don't have to be pretty. The nice thing about science is you can models. Um, this is essentially what we're doing is we're drawing a model 
of a watershed. So this rectangle of paper is our area of land. We're going to make water fall on it. That water is going to go somewhere. Um, and the models, of course, can always be improved. So obviously, looking at that map, the watershed wasn't a perfect rectangle. Um, so there's definitely things we can do to improve our model, but I think this gets the gist across. So we have our house. Um, from the audience, what else would we have in our water sh in our communities? What else should we draw? We've got lawns. The lawns, absolutely, Mike. We have our lovely lawn that Chris might be <laughs> mowing. Let's push lawnmower. Maybe we have the little chicken coop in the back. Oh, I you say the chicken coop. Read your mind already. There we go. Add your chicken coop. I, I need a I need a mini a mini goat, please. <laughs> mini goat. It can be on Johnny top of Jeep. the. You never want one goat. You always get at least two goats because one oh, goat yeah. is bored. That's true. We want one oh. mini goat, and I want a companion mini horse because that's why I have a home. I hear oh Mickey. Okay, well this is good. So we kind of our house is now more of the farm. So we have, <laughs> I don't know. There's our horse tail. Can I get Ooh. an elephant? Yeah, Adam, you can totally have an elephant. What do I got to do to get an elephant around here? Right? I want a boa. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, there's our horse. So we have some farmland maybe back here. Nice. Um, we could also have a... like the groceries, maybe a school. An Welcome elephant. back students. It's a wild time. We need our local OFR. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the school probably has a parking lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're known for those. <laughs> yeah. 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 Our, our that balloon is going to be black. Yeah. Woo. What about a, a pumpkin or a gourd of some sort? In our farm, we could have a pumpkin patch. Okay. I like it. I'm putting my drawing to the test here. Aren't we all supposed to be drawing? <laughs> Um, yeah, I think she's got it. <laughs> we have like our okay. Good thing I did a pencil. I'm turning our OFRs to a factory because ocean friendly restaurants they're gonna do nice things for our watershed, yeah. um, <laughs> which is great. We want to talk about some of the I don't know if that's our factory. Oh, that's a methanol plant. <laughs> no, I hope not. High class. <laughs> Four okay. kilometers to deal with that now. Um, so yeah, we have maybe like the golf course. Woo. Um, basically anything you want to draw in your community. Um, is anybody drawing along? Chris, are you drawing? I started. No. Oh, I started. Good. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Renell's got it going on. Excellent. Okay. So now that we have the basic setup for our our lovely watershed here. Now we're going to add some of the everyday pollution. Um, I also want to draw a car. <laughs> that is quite the car. Wow, yeah. This is a <laughs> super fast car. It's an electric car. It's a non-electric car, Mike. You got it. Oh. Okay, so we have um, some of our everyday actions. So now this is where your washable markers come into play. Um, cars, of course, as we drive them, there's, they might be leaking oil in our parking lot. So you can be generous with your pollution um, for this model to work well. <laughs> so we have some oil. We might also have like things like the brake dust and the exhaust. From and the tire wear. Tire wear. Tire wear, totally. Um, out in our kind of farmland, we might be using chemical pesticides. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Oh, well, herbicides too, like Roundup. Oh yeah, herbicides, Roundup for sure. Rat poison to get all those rats out. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. Kill all the animals. Uh, our golf course, definitely. Jesus. Fertilizer. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
What do I do about what do I do about moles, guys? I can't fill any more holes. Castor oil and cayenne pepper. Dynamite. <laughs> what did we say? A rat poison. No, no, no. <laughs> and and live traps. And then round you up to the bad people's house and let them go. Yeah. <laughs> That's my better sanction, by the way. Um, we also have things like our dog poop. Mm -hmm. Other like what does that our, happen? Our horses, cows, cow patties. Yeah. Natural. It's getting wild here, folks. Horses are cold. Um, uh, for all of those of you participating in beach cleanups this weekend. Unfortunately, there might be litter. All that, all that grapes that I dumped into the creek behind my house. Oh, <laughs> yeah. darn it, Liz! Uh, what? Okay. A look at one of the Akatsu videos when Ken went up well up watershed. He found plastic <laughs> way had plastic. You know, some hiker or something must have dropped a candy bar wrapper right, or something. It all broke up, and they found it in the river. No. Oh, waters. It's a good video. That's wild. Don't Pollution is everywhere. So, and that could come from, you know, we burn things. The factory over here. We work on chemicals they're using. Um, there's also a lot of chemicals we use in our homes. Um, thankfully, microplastics are no longer a thing. Um, oh, you mean in the toothpaste and? I'm like, yeah. In our toothpaste. Yeah. I don't know if that's true of beauty products, though. Is that true of beauty yeah. products? Ooh, yeah, there could be. Yeah. I would you can pass them. Yeah. You know, the things you put in your eyes and your, your mouth, like, those still have plastic in them. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Even um, there was a study that, like, uh, increased different, like, drugs like there was a, a study about how salmon are testing positive for cocaine oh, yeah. saw um, so the things that we urinate out of our bodies can end up in places oh so is that blue is that the lead-based paint on the house oh yeah sure i was mostly just yeah <laughs> things, things we do in our house oh really it's serious yeah, how old the hell is that the house, house. Yeah. on the outside yeah it does be an old house Anything yeah. built before 1979. Oh, some nice asbestos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Perfect. And we're, right. we're... As, long, as long as asbestos is in water, it's not too big of a deal. <laughs> yeah. And as fall comes, right, we might be burning some wood. Well, if you put Lena, that I'm pretty stuff. sure that there's a... I would close that. Okay. No. So, of course, so we're talking about how watersheds are areas of land. And, of course, in Washington, we all know that it rains. It rains everywhere, obviously. Um, and that rain has to go somewhere. And for us, this is not a good marker. Let's pick better markers. Oops. That rain is going to end up in places like the Puget Sound, which is also called the Salish, the Salish Sea. OK. And so whether that water travels off the parking lot to a river or stream that leads to the Puget Sound or just goes straight to the Puget Sound. Things like those storm drains. You can draw any of those, but let's add one. Those go straight to the Puget Sound. Don't forget oh. to mark it for CHB. Please. Yeah, we should say salmon only rain down the drain. Okay. Not, <laughs> not, not that good stuff. Water. Um, and so for, for those of you following along, this is the fun part. Because now you get to take your watershed model. Yeah. And to make this model better, we got to give it some terrain. So you get to take your watershed and you get to front it. Oh. oh that's unexpected. Would I, everyone show, show us your own? Is anybody else doing it? I uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah, oh, good call. Show oh. off your watershed before you front it. Liz, that looks so good. Penny, can we see yours a little more? Oh yeah, these are oh, beautiful. Detailed and skilled. I almost want to take like a screenshot of everybody's watersheds held up. Mine's you right before here. and after. <laughs> yeah, okay, so everybody hold up your watershed for a before. 
I didn't see any colors, hardly, sorry. I was so mesmerized by what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm. I okay. became, I so became have woefully before. unprepared for this meeting. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no supplies. You don't have any art supplies within reach? Like, geez. I have, a, here, Adam. I've always been, I have a Sharpie. I've always been more into watching Bob Ross than actually going along with Bob Ross. <laughs> I think we all need a little Bob Ross in our lives. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We do. All right. Crazy. So we so we have our our watershed. It has some terrain because water is going to flow downhill. Um, I also have my tray out now. I don't know about you, but my cookie trays are always kind of scuzzy and brown, so don't mind that. Um, use a little well assist. All right. Yeah. So now. Yeah. No, no judging here. <laughs> We're gonna make it rain, folks. So take your spray bottle. I have, I repurposed a old OxyClean kind of thing, and we're gonna make it rain. And now, okay, let me, let me focus in here really quick. We have to be good scientists, folks. To be a good scientist, we're gonna need to make some observations. Are you ready to observe what happens to all this everyday pollution on your watershed? Oh no! Oh no, let's check it out. <laughs> and don't, don't forget the um, uh, ash, the ash of green. Oh my gosh, yeah, all the ash from the fires. Holy crap. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna make it rain. So you can start with a nice gentle shower. And I'm noticing uh-oh, we're starting to have a problem. All of that everyday pollution is ending up uh, into the sound. Into the beautiful Puget Sound. How tragic and terrible is that? I've seen that color in the sound. <laughs> yeah. Science is real. Yeah. You know, you can like really uh wherever you are, you know, get a torrential downpour going. Um but you know the rain the rain stops eventually so as soon as you're satisfied with how much rain you put on your model feel free to take a break and oh my gosh we certainly have quite the mess here friends right through the sailor sea into my carpet for sure <laughs> into your carpet oh no my, all right crap carpet my observation is that the land is like sparkly clean again so we can keep polluting because the rain will wash it all away. Is that? <laughs> Liz, 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 that is not the takeaway we're going for here. Um, we probably could have drawn things like there are habitats that are important. So things like wetlands can help filter out some of the uh, pollution. So thinking about our car, if we're to say wash it on the grass instead of the pavement, all of the dirt and grime that we're washing off can get filtered by the land and the grass. But if it's directly on impermeable surfaces like the pavement, that can go right into the storm drain, right into the Puget Sound. So uh, again, a limitation with our model here today is we aren't really getting to see that permeable or impermeable kind of surface dynamic. Um, but we do get to see that that pollution moves, rain picks it up, causes problems. Um, and so then it's up to us. We get to, you know, be the people doing things in our uh, places to make sure that we're taking care of our watersheds. And so how can we solve some of these pollution problems, friends? Throw it out to you. By calling the environmental hotline and reporting these folks. I like it. it it's, or, you know, or if you a badge, I would send her out with a with a Glock and a badge and be like, oh. <laughs> "Hey, you guys, seriously?" Yeah, we got that covered. <laughs> yeah. Just just yesterday, it's like we had a contractor, and there's like slag from concrete like moseying down the alley. Unfortunately, it didn't get to the storm drain, but you know we've seen it happen before. It's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. You could plant yeah. an ocean-friendly garden. Oh! Ooh. Or oh, even better, oh, you can find your local surf rider chapter and start an ocean-friendly garden program. <laughs> so get your friends. Yeah, long time ago, we we did that for a school over in Gig Harbor. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. 
And then had one put into his yard. Nice. I mean, he wanted in a drawing, so. That's pretty good. Yeah. The nice yeah. thing about doing this lesson with you all or this experiment is that I think we're, as a team, we're already kind of thinking about these issues and how to solve them and take positive action to help protect these fabulous environments that we live next to and on and in, play in. Um, and so we definitely, I think I'll understand that clean water is very important. So whether you're scooping your dog poop or making sure your car is not leaking oil, um, you know, voting for <laughs> oceans, voting for the environment, all of that good stuff um, is definitely things that uh, you can do to help make sure your watersheds are happy and healthy and we can all play in them. So, um, yeah, thanks for thanks for playing. This was actually um, a really good practice round because we're starting to, as the school year comes in, we're figuring out ways to uh, hopefully join classrooms and do uh, these kind of workshops with kiddos and stuff. So um, we're excited to, you know, still be able to provide some hands-on science lessons uh, to the people of our community. So if you know a teacher who's freaking out <laughs> um, or know any kids um, who would like some fun hands-on science lessons um, in their online world, uh, we'd be happy, I'd be happy to connect you with that. So just let me know and um, I also would be remiss if I didn't put a plug for, uh, we are having our annual Make Waves benefit. So um, if you're digging what Harbor Wild Watch is putting down, uh, feel free to join um, for that. It's a free Zoom event and you're welcome to, there's gonna be a live auction and all sorts of fun stuff and you can even, that? Uh, purchase a ticket that comes with some fun swag, uh, including our annual pin, which is the cutest little harbor seal wearing a mask. So uh, when is that? It should be really fun. When's that going to be? That will be on September 24th. So okay. you can check so out the up. Harbor Wild Watch Facebook page or website, and we have all sorts of info about Make Waves. So we'd love to see your faces there because that's definitely going to be a new wild adventure for us to try and do this event online, but look at us go. We're a resilient <laughs> crew here. Killing it, killing it in this virtual world. Yeah, so. All right, well, thank you, Stina. Let's give her a round of applause or maybe some snaps, whatever. Yay. This one, you can't see. <laughs> uh, okay, um, cool. So 